Let's start off with residents of Akode, a rural community near Edukrum in the Okere district of the eastern region, who say they are living in fear following increasing cases of crime and their inability to ex access uh, mobile telephony networks and internet connectivity in the area. They say the police have been unsuccessful in foiling robbery cases, most especially because victims and residents are unable to solicit their assistance on time anytime there are attacks. They want government to intervene in the provision of internet and expand mobile telecommunication networks to help check crime and boost healthcare delivery. Edwin Kofisian reports. The stretch between Edukrum and Akode has recorded a number of robbery cases, including the killing of an ambulance driver. The 44-year-old senior emergency technician, Abraham Tete, was shot by highway robbers while transporting a woman in labor from Somenia to Koforidia sometime in February this year. Some residents and robbery victims claim after the incident that all their efforts to contact the police to follow the attack proved futile due to poor mobile network connectivity. The absence of these essential services does not only affect the security of the people, but healthcare delivery in the district. Something is happening to you somewhere. You wouldn't get access to the internet or the network to call someone to help you. So by the time you realize whatever is supposed to happen to you has happened already. There is a bungalow attached to the school and teachers who are living here, we live in fear. When we heard that news, it, although it wasn't a new to us because it has been happening on this road. So most of the times we, 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 we live in fear and panic. Yes, and there is no network. So when even um, robbers come to attack you in the school, especially in the bungalow, when you shout, the school is not close to the community. You can't make a call because of network challenge. The internet connection here was very bad. Even trying to reach someone Placing a call, trying to make a research becomes a problem. So you have to sometimes move all the way from here to either Somania or Edukrom to access internet. A USAID statistics estimate that more than 4 billion people in developing countries, including Ghana, still do not have access to the internet. Women are, on the average, 14% less likely to own mobile phones than their male counterparts and 43% less likely to engage online. The rapid development and adoption of digital technology is transforming how people worldwide assess information, goods and services. But in Akode, the story is different. Residents struggle to make calls and connect to the internet due to these the Hangar Project has partnered Blue Town Telecommunications, USAID, and GIFEC to increase young women's economic opportunities by providing meaningful internet connectivity. Samuel Afrani is the country director for the Hangar Project. Even though this project is meant to break the gender gap in digital access, but it is also meant to bridge this digital access, as far as urban and rural places are concerned, because we know that internet connectivity in the rural areas lag behind that of the urban centers. Stephanie Ashley, project manager for the Women's Meaningful Access Project, explained that whilst residents access information, the provision of computers and internet will also boost the learning of ICT for students. And for this ICT center, we have available micro-operators who will be training the community partners in internet usage and also advocating for people to bring their children just to be computer literate.